If you are an Amazon seller, then not getting an OTP on your phone might be too much frustrating for you. Because if you are not able to get the OTP, that means you are not able to log into your account and do anything like creating listing, managing inventory, or even check your sales or even get your payments. So basically, this is not too common problem because that might not happen with everyone, but still it happens with me sometime like twice in a year. So if you're an Amazon seller, and even if you have not get this error so far, then still I will recommend you to watch this video to just set up the backup for this, because if in future, due to some reason, you will not be able to get your OTP, then you can actually go for the backup option and you can actually secure your account and protect your Amazon account to get banned because when you sign up for your amazon seller center then it asks for your phone number for the verification and every time you log into your amazon account it sends an otp code to your phone number just for the verification and you have to enter that otp from your phone to your laptop in order to log into your account so if somehow you are not able to get the otp or you are not having the phone access for some reason then you must have to set up a backup plan like a two-step verification so in case if you lost your phone or if due to any reason you are not getting the otp so you can actually use that second method to get your OTP and to sign into your Amazon Seller Central with a two-step verification. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and the cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I've already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips tricks and strategies you can just go on my amazon playlist on youtube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this all right guys so as you can see here i'm on my laptop right now and from here i've opened my amazon seller central so basically in order to set up two-step verification for your amazon seller central and to basically make a backup for your otp you have to go on the top right corner and click on the settings icon and from there you can see this login setting so if you click on login setting so you will be able to see this setting you can see that here's my name my email my phone number and if i go down you can see this two-step verification tab so here it says that in my account the two-step verification has been completed but if your site if it is not then you simply have to click on this manage tab and then you will be able to see like how many methods of getting otp on your phone is basically set up on your account so here you can see that there are two methods has been set up in my account and i can actually set up more than two like three four or even five so here you can see that the main or preferred method is my phone number and send text by my phone number so you can see that if i log into my amazon account from this laptop or from any other laptop amazon will send me an otp on this phone number and then i can just use that otp to sign into my amazon seller central and by clicking on this change tab i can just change that phone number anytime right so that was the first method or preferred method which is phone number otp but here you can see that the second method is backup methods which is authenticated app so i have already two apps enrolled but if you're doing it for the first time you cannot see any app here so basically you have to click on this add new app button then you can see that this is a qr code so basically if you want to set up an authenticator app so all you have to do is you have to pick up your phone and then you have to go to google play store and then you have to type google authenticator just like this you can see that on google i have just typed google authenticator and from this first link if i open that so on the google play store or even an apple app store you will be able to see this google authenticator app right you can see that this app is from google lsc having more than 100 million downloads and the main icon of this app will look something like this. So when you download that app, so after installing that app, opening that app, when you click on scan barcode, so your phone camera will be open and from that camera, you have to basically scan that barcode. So when you scan that QR code from your phone, you will be able to see a number or code. So all you have to do is you have to type that code here and click on verify OTP and continue in order to connect your authenticator app to your Amazon seller center. So once you connect that, put that code and verify that code so your app will be connected to your amazon seller central and then you will be able to see that app enrolled here so after doing that whenever you log into your amazon seller central you will get the code on your phone and that app as well so if you're not having your sim working so you can just simply open that app and take the otp from there to log into your amazon seller central and in the same way you can enroll more than one app as well if you're having multiple phones all you have to do is you have to click on add a new app or add a new phone number so you can just add as much method as you can like multiple phone numbers or multiple apps so if one method is not available anytime you can just use another method take the otp and log into your amazon seller central so i hope at this point your all confusion about getting amazon otp has been cleared and right after watching this video you will install the google authenticator app and enable two-step verification in your amazon seller central to protect it and to avoid any confusion in the future so that's it for today guys i hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it 
So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.